Are you ready, baby? We're going to talk to our dancers now, okay? Hi, dancers. My little purry over here and I are back to tell you what your week three challenges are. Uh, this is for April 14th to the 20th. So you'll start tomorrow and you'll finish next Monday by 5 p.m. Um, so let's get into it. So your creativity challenge for this week is um, a little interesting. Did you know that some ballets are not written to music with clear notes and beats? The dancers know when to do what they're supposed to do by counting in their heads. Other ballets are written to spoken words uh, without music at all. I would like you to create a spoken word ballet. So there are five steps here. One, pick a Bible verse, Psalm 91 verse one, or Psalm 23 are some good options, but there are many, many others, especially in the Psalms, but throughout the Bible. Two, create choreography for your verse. Now this cannot just be your hands. It needs to be your whole body. To show, uh, you wanna to try to show the verse unfolding in dance form. Um, three, you're gonna to need to get someone to say the verse slowly in their best narrator voice while you dance to it. So this is ideally the person holding the camera so that their voice is pretty close to the phone. Um, if you must, you of course can say the verse yourself in your best narrator voice. Uh, you'll need to film it, that's step four, and send it to me on Team App. And step five is just to be aware that dances will be judged on the length of the verse and the originality of movement. So you wanna make sure that you pick a verse that's a little bit longer so that you are you know, bumped up in brownie points uh, when I go to judge it, um, but you don't want to get it so long that you run out of cool moves to use um, and, you know, run out of creativity and originality because um, then that will put you back and it would be better to do a shorter uh, verse really well, okay? Um, this choreography can include uh, ballet, modern, and made-up movements, okay? Uh, the reward is that I will pick one of these videos and um, feature it on the team app next Tuesday. Uh, and this featured post will include a message from myself about why I chose your choreography. Level one, you are welcome to participate in this. I noticed I haven't seen any level one uh, girls trying this. Uh, sometimes it can end up being a little more like free dance than choreography, but that is okay. I will still judge it and feature it, and I would love to see my level ones participating. Level one, level two slash three, and level four will be judged separately. Um, so... Time for your strength challenge. This one is still just levels two, three, and four. So level one, you can enjoy not having to do this because it's going to be really hard this week. So it's time to up the ante. Week three, uh, it's time to do something impressive. So prepare your muscles, they will be required. Actually, it's mostly these muscles. Anyway, can you complete 215 releves? Oh, bye kitty by April 19th? If so, prove it. Film yourself doing 225 or 215 excellent releves without stopping by 5 p.m. on April 19th. Um, but that's not all. It is time to go above and beyond. There's a new video out called Quad Killers. So you wanna watch that video for a full explanation of the second part of this strength challenge. You'll need to do 25 of those on each leg. So these can be put into two separate videos, um, or if you're super uh, ambitious, you can put them into one video. Um, another option is when you actually film on a smartphone, many of the new phones will have a pause feature, um, and you can just do the releves, press pause, you know, relax for a minute, and then do your next, you know, part and just push play again. Um, the reward is uh, that those who complete all uh, four of these challenges will be given a nice big candy bar of their choosing when we come back for classes. Um, and don't fall behind because only those who compete in this challenge are eligible to compete in the next and final strength challenge. Now, the consistency challenge. Apologies, this is the 
cross training challenge. So your third cross training challenge um, requires you to have a little bit of knowledge about some Disney movies. Now this includes um, anything that's kind of like a, an animated kids movie. So um, I'm not exactly sure who made all of them. I think uh, some of them are by Pixar, but, Pixar, but um, anything like Tangled, Frozen, um, Cinderella, Mulan, uh, Robin Hood, Aristocats, anything uh, along those lines. I want you to pick one of the characters who is doing something cardio related, okay? So maybe you pick the knight and the knight is fighting with a sword and then you have to do that for 20 minutes, take a picture of yourself doing it, make it as ridiculous as possible and post on the team app. Or maybe it's a princess running away from the bad guy. Or maybe it's, you know, Elsa singing her heart out to such a degree that she gets, you know, her heart rate up and uh, her cardio workout in. So you need to take a picture of yourself um, doing whatever you, whatever that character is doing, um, and you need to do it for 20 minutes, um, pretty consistently. So your heart rate gets up and, um, and, uh, take that picture and, um, brownie points if you dress up like that character. Okay. Uh, so of course the reward is that, um, I will imitate, uh, that photo, um, whichever one I think is funniest. And that will be posted next week on Thursday, um, front page status. And, uh, that is, Something I'm really looking forward to imitating is gonna be a great deal of fun. Okay, and now your consistency challenge. Um, I'm just gonna say how proud I am of you for practicing and for sending me those charts that you made. If you haven't made a chart, make one, uh, draw a square on a piece of paper, do three lines down and then a few lines across and then just uh, X, you know, so each row is one week. And so you wanna draw an X the first time you practice that week, another X the second time, another X the third time, and another X the fourth time. Now, if you're level one, of course, you only have to practice three times a week. Um, but we're doing that extra practice per week because of missed classes. Um, and then I just wanna say that if you haven't connected with me on Duo yet, please do that. It's been very encouraging to me to connect with you and see how well you're doing um, if you have slow internet, just film yourself doing whatever dance you think is the hardest. For level three, that's usually wind. Um, and upload it to YouTube and send me a link. And then I will um, send you back a video of me um, giving you some critiques and some pointers and uh, some things to focus on. Um, it's been really useful with the students I've done it with so far. Definitely worth your time if you haven't done that with me yet. And I'll be trying to get through kind of all the students I haven't done that with and then starting over. And so then if you've already done this with me, you might need to wait a week or two um, before we do it again. Um, but I will keep you up to date on time availability that I have. And if that time doesn't work for you, um, I'm sure that I can fit something into my schedule that does. Uh, secondly, if you haven't created a YouTube channel yet and made yourself a personalized playlist with only the dances and tutorials that you need, um, please do so. Let me know if you'd like me to send you screenshots of the YouTube channel um, with you know circles around which videos you should be practicing and what they're for, you know, the water dance, the dragon dance, whatever. Uh, I know it's really confusing and I would love to help you sort through all of this. Um, this is the kind of thing that if we were in classes, we'd be talking about a lot and, uh, you know, sorting out and making sure we, we had um, an understanding between us. And so because we haven't got to do that, definitely reach out to me on Duo or um, through the team app and ask for anything you need. If it's the screenshots, questions you need answered, um, a video critiqued, or um, just a duo um, chat with me, please, please reach out and uh, connect with me about that so that we can um, make sure that when we come back to classes in early May, uh, that we are ready to go, that we are so on top of it, and that we come out of this just better than ever. So I love you all so much. Thank you so, so much for continuing to practice and just stay, uh, stay, positive about quarantine and um know that it's so it's so close to being over and it will all be done soon i love you bye